Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back to Let's Play Oh Hi Fleet. Uh, we're in a bit of trouble here. We've got uh, Ellen Danger, so there's, uh, yeah, they're on our tail here. And uh, the strike groups are closing in. We have 1.2 hours to try and repair this. I don't know if this is a good idea or not. We're getting a little bit of fuel. We're just going to wait for that repair. If that goes to Ellen 5, I'm probably getting out of there. Let's see, come on. I'm not going to speed it up. 0.8 hours. Oh, that strike group is moving, as you can see. They're probably moving from Akkad to Bahram. Come on. Come on, we just got to finish the repairs and go. It's probably stupid to try and repair it all. I should just get out of here. Although we are on the ground now. Which, people keep saying that they cannot find you on the ground unless, of course, uh, they find you visually, I suppose. Uh, but I don't know how that would help. Because we have to move anyway. The only pro oh, no, there we go. We have to go. Because now they're coming closer. Oh, that sucks. Let's go. Yes, I know. Go. They're probably going to be sending missiles. Let's see. Oh, man. Now, people have also suggested I... I um, Leave Sevastopol behind somewhere and just use the Skylark with a few faster vehicles because that uh, saves on fuel. So where's the next HQ actually? Is it anywhere around here? No. It is here. Jaffa. There's still a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And we've got a radio signal. Let's see what it is. Very close. Yep. Arrival in going 90 Donbass, I'll tell you. Yeah, but arrival where? They might have just led, uh, just left Nagar and going to Zemoraim. The problem is, we don't want to get detected again. I mean, these guys are already probably detecting us. And we're quite slow with 94. Come on, there we go, LN4. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Excellent, excellent. We're getting away now. We just mustn't be reported again. Because that sucks. Yes, General. Alright. What are we sending? Lightning Mark III Heavy, which is slightly damaged, I believe. Intrepid. Lightning Mark II. Morale 7. We're gonna leave those behind. Gladiator. I might actually send the Gladiator as well. The Lightning Mark III Heavy and the Gladiator. How about that? Yeah. I love the sound effects, they're so good. I haven't played this game in quite a few days because my throat... Well, it's kind of weird. Along with everything else that's, that's wrong, I must have, like, pulled a muscle or something. And every time I swallow, it hurts, but it, you know... Will arrive in approximately eight hours. Okay, I'm not really interested in that. Yeah, it's, it's just, if it's not one thing, it's another. It's just annoying, incredibly annoying. All right, they got quite a bit, but nothing, nothing we can handle. Um, all right. I don't really see the point in selecting the ammunition type here. I'm guessing it only selects it right from the beginning. So if you have that ability where it's already all armed or uh, rearmed, uh, that's when it matters. But otherwise, you can change, just change it with R. I never really want to because I don't see a point, especially with these guys. Uh, they're not that difficult. Oh yeah, see this guy has the ability where it's all rearmed already. Oh yeah! Those cannons, man! No you don't. Come on. Whoa! Did that actually hit us? I don't think it did, right? There we go. Lovely. Oh, that freaking thing is in the way. Didn't actually see that one there. Oh, because that's reinforcements. Of course, there's more than just uh, three of them. We do have... Freaking hell. I didn't even know I had them. Oh, bomb explosion. Nice. 
I think the more powerful engines that we've put on these lightnings are a bit too much for the crew. Go away. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you don't. No, you don't. The lightnings are so good for this. Someone said, you've got so many vehicles and all you're, all we see ever is lightnings. I understand, but they're so good. When we have to fight something uh, more difficult, yeah, we'll, we'll bring out the Cormoran and, and other stuff. But look at this. Nice. All right, uh, let's secure the 80 mullet. Let's secure the... Uh, yeah, fuel tanks and ammunition. And that thing. Right. What? What do you mean zero damage? There's some damage, I can see it right here. Let's land this guy expendables. <clears throat> okay, so my Lightning Mark III Heavy has one of two expendables left, which is the rockets. The Gladiator has one of... 3,539,009 of... <laughs> what the hell is going on there? 542! Holy moly! If we want to repair something quickly or change it, we can do so now. I'm actually gonna land this one here. Oh, I can hear a bit of uh, radiation here. Guess that's the fallout, like we said before. I'll land you here, and then save the 522 and 542 for uh, other ships if I want to do something with them. Right, supplies. Do they have anything here? Well, they got some aircraft bombs, which is pretty nice. Actually, I'm going to wait for my, uh, for my other, other ships to arrive. Oh yeah, wait a second. We have to repair, right? ship works so um people have said that stuff that's just slightly damaged you can just right click actually yeah uh things that say for example where is it uh durability 100 100 100 100 65 oh there we go so if you right click on it ah that repairs um that selects the stuff oh which one is it now? <laughs> no. Is it this one? I don't know. There we go. 4.6 hours. 130 millimeters. Crew, 96. This guy's fine. Yeah, I don't understand why that happens. Uh, they, uh, someone has said that if something is just slightly damaged, uh, you get less performance out of it, but it's not going to get repaired via the repair button. You have to actually right-click on it. But none of this stuff seems to be damaged at all here. What is this? Wait. Okay. We can just keep doing that. So, do they have anything cool here? I want one of these. <laughs> uh, the Vimple. <clears throat> these are 100 millimeter. That's really nice. I would like some of the smaller ones as well for missile protection. But I, I do believe this one has flares, right? Uh, yeah, decoy flares. See, this one is yellow. Ah, there you go. Okay. It's a bit weird, because... You'd think that the repair button would repair everything up to full. That you wouldn't have to do this and check all the stuff, whether anything is slightly damaged or not. Bit of an odd thing, this. <clears throat> Alright, let's wait for, uh... These guys, come on. LN1, come on. There we go. Hopefully they're not gonna... Keep following us. There's fuel at Zamorain. Oh, I don't know. Should I get more fuel here? Or just... No, we'll probably just get out of here. All this stuff is in good condition, I guess. These guys are in good condition. Fighter bomber. All this stuff is fine. Lightning Mark II. Oh, yeah, I've got these Zenith missiles here. <laughs> in very precarious positions. 
Very precarious. Does this need any repairs? It doesn't look like it. But we never know. And there's the Sevastopol. People have said that I should change the Sevastopol, put more engines on it, or or just leave it somewhere. Uh, because it's a resource hog. And I agree, but... Oh yeah, we should also get rid of these... Um, nuclear missiles. I know this is metagaming, but people have said that if you use nuclear missiles, they will just use their entire nuclear arsenal on you. So I'm gonna get rid of these. To sell them for now, and that will give us a lot of money. Actually, you know what? I'll I'll keep these ones just for now. And do we have any other missiles that we can fit in there? Not for now. That's fine. Um, these are all 180 millimeter. Jeez, huge cannons. 185 six barreled heavy main battery. Whoa. And we've got these smaller ones as well, which are not that great for uh, anti missile defense, to be completely honest. Okay. I think we're fine for now. So I am going to get. How, how long for repairs? Uh. What? Nothing? Yeah, they're still refueling, but we're gonna get out of here, and I'm gonna refuel elsewhere. Okay, expect moving southeast. Main cargo slaves, please obtain liquefied oxygen. Okay, so we can actually catch this guy. But the, the, the unfortunate thing is, it doesn't seem like we can really catch them without them um, reporting on us. And it's very, very annoying. Okay, so let's go. <clears throat> and I'm going to send a Skylark and a Lightning Mark III Heavy forward. Actually, no. The... Yeah. I'm going to send the Mark... No, this guy, because of the morale. So I'm going to send them forward... Actually, you know what? They could... Oh, aircraft carrier group. But that was 300 hours ago. I'm going to send them forward right here. And... No, wait. Lightning Mark II as well. Just in case. So, if they meet that transport on the way, that's fine. And it's also night... Is it night time? No, it's not night time. I think it's like evening or something. Okay, come on. Come on. How, how is the IR not detecting them? Oh, there we go. So there they are. There they are. Uh, so now... As soon as we spot them, it is getting dark though, that's that's good. I'm really hoping they're not going to detect us. I'm really hoping they're not going to detect us, because that's going to suck. Attention, what? visual contact. What? What, they just immediately report to you? Is this for real? Oh, come on. This cannot be for real. Why do they... How are you supposed to fight this then? Because these are just instant detectors that you cannot do anything about. I mean, I suppose you can just send planes there because people have said that planes don't actually get reported. But this is stupid. What am I supposed to do here? Okay, Skylark is just gonna... Wait over here. This is so annoying. Yeah, just land. It's only a scarab and a price ship. I mean, I'm gonna get some money for it, but it, this is just so, so annoying. And I think this guy doesn't get any more XP, to be honest, so... Whoa, that's a lot of HP. Is that for real? Oh, you can see he's got that sort of detection. Uh, 
flood detection, uh, protection. Oh, okay. He just smashed into the ground. That was nice. Okay, so we've got these guys. Um... Right. Radio room. Let's secure the fuel tanks. And fine. Turn to the radio room, even though that's not really that much of an issue. Come on. Where are you going? So no Ellen for now. There they are. And we'll have to send them forward. Custom. This is... Oh yeah, and Silent Strike is now impossible. I didn't have the alarm race thing, so... I don't know. Maybe I should just land for now. Somewhere. We don't really have much fuel left, unfortunately. Okay, I'm gonna land here. Wait for the Silent Strike. And then see if I get Ellen. If they... If they follow me, that's that. We just have to go, unfortunately. The bad thing is... Yeah, they are. Wait, from up there? Oh, that's great. That's... And from the bottom as well. Yeah, that's, uh... Woo! That's gonna be fun. We have to go. Oh, that sucks. I think, uh, we're gonna be losing this game very soon. Yes, we should, but I, I'm doing other stuff in the meantime. Let's send these two. Um, right. Oh, great, they're uh, once again doing this. Uh, I don't know. I'm not going to be doing this right now. So this sucks. This sucks big time. Oh, it's... Wants to meet with you! Yep. And it's... There. Okay, no, wait. Where is it? Yes, I know. That's fine. Okay, it's up there. So I guess it's... No. Somewhere over there. I don't know. Alright. Oh, they got a longbow. Interesting. How does that work in combat now? Will they just fly off and oh that's actually that's gonna be interesting uh what do we have what's that proximity fuse and laser guided high explosive just do high explosive for now incendiary incendiary would be nice hit him from the bottom well or hit him from the front so where's the longbow here oh that one's done. Oh, there's incendiary. But... Oh, shoot. No, no. Nice. Where's this guy? Oh, there's a longbow. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Ow, ow, ow. I don't want it sending airplanes. Come on. Reload. Ah, it's... Oh, no. That wasn't it. Okay, let's, uh, let's get out of here. Where's the retreat? Over there. That's a lot of honor we've already gotten. 
Look at this thing, this target of ours. Yep. <laughs> Holy moly. It's completely destroyed. <clears throat> Four crew dead. That's acceptable. I mean, it's not good, but... Whoa, we've gotten a lot of stars here. Lightning Mark too. excellent. Uh, 20% more maneuverable. Yes, please. Th that's it? For all those stars? Oh, there's a bomber. That's nice. The 37 millimeter is nice against uh, missiles. Well, that has to be done first. First the survivors. Um, oh, good. Okay, what are they saying? Oh, they must have left. We're not going to pursue them anymore. Oh, yeah, of course. Um. This might be at coordinates. Let's see if it's at... Oh yeah, wait a second, we got some cipher keys. Uh, this one is eight. So these are coordinates, look at that. I think, because it's three. So the only unknown would be this then. But no, it's not gonna be it because everything else is scrambled. Is this really eight? Well, it, it is placed over here, so it must be eight. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter right now. Uh, we cannot... L landing in the city. Okay, we cannot land. Alright, uh, we're securing the ammunition. Let's dismantle... No, let's get some crew protection. And let's dismantle that. And then this. Be advised, Rogue Tarkan spotted northeast of city Zemarin. You are ordered to increase security patrols for all operations in area. So northeast of Zemarin. Oh, northeast of Zemarin. So that's pretty cool that they're, uh, they have slightly erroneous information as well. So quite a lot of damage in this. A little bit of damage on the Sevastopol. I'm going to try fixing that real quick. Uh, 3064 there. Yeah, it's actually missing one of the engines, which is not great. Meters. What's going on? Meters. That was a bit of a weird sound effect going on. Fortunately, these lightnings are so maneuverable. Is 64 down here? Yes, it is. Tricky, 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 because of that missing engine. Let's try hopping to the other side without... There. There. Not perfect, but... Yeah! Oh, that little 28 there is just in the way, you see that? We're gonna have to go a little bit left, I guess. Man, this thing is giant. I love it. Meters. Love those uh, flames. You really, you really feel the weight of these things here with the uh, Sevastopol. I have my throttle almost full practically the entire time and you know it's barely slowing down it's really cool i need to have a word with you mark the people are terrified beyond all reason it's only a matter of time until we lose control of the situation 
The air is getting colder and colder. It was only 4 degrees Celsius today. Everyone says that continuing to fight under these conditions would be utter madness. Madness, they say. So what are we to do then? Something we ought to start negotiating for peace with the gathering. Others say nothing. What they want is to go south to Ur, then return to capital. Assemble all hands, Pyotr Ignatievich. I will address the crew. You soon find yourself below, uh, before a human sea, a thousand eyes fixed upon you. The men's faces are pale with fear. Ah, force, wealth. Oh, great. I've got no wealth, no force, no faith. So, that's great. Uh, we must capture the Kiva reactor. It is a matter of survival. You can almost see a wave of bewilderment emanate from you and spread across the sea of eyes. No one expected you to begin your address this way. Deep in our hearts, we all sense the terrifying truth. The world as we know it will soon be no more. A new world will arise to replace it. And this world will know only one law. Might makes right. The crowd listens in silence. If we are to survive in this world, we must be strong, fearless, and resolute. Today we have what it takes to crush the governor and seize Kiva for ourselves, lest tomorrow the enemy fleet reach the city and doom us all. There is no way to tell what they are thinking. All you can do is keep talking. Hear me, sons of the Romani, sons of Gerrit. Brace yourselves, muster all your strength, and prepare to fight for your survival. Fight with all your might, or you will have no future at all. Ah, oh, crap. A heavy silence hangs over the crowd as you finish. Your men do not believe you. The officers of the fleet avert their eyes, gloomily refusing to meet your gaze. What is done is done. All you can do now is tell the crew to return to their stations and prepare for the worst. Uh, space doesn't work. Ah, morale minus three. Do you truly think the Kiva reactor is an ancient shelter of some sort, Duke? I'm certain of it, Madpearl. Without sunlight, an operational nuclear reactor represents our only chance at survival. Shakor al Farak, the day of the Black Void. You know, Duke, with the sun gone, even the air is bound to grow too cold. It will eventually freeze. All the air in the atmosphere will condense into a crust on the surface of the planet. How do you plan to survive in a vacuum, my Duke? I have been told that the Kiva reactor is as large as a mountain. Our knowledge and skill pale before those of our ancestors. We need to trust them. Ah, oh, darn it, so we've got minus three morale. That's not very good. And we've got enemy fleets on our tail. This is, uh, yeah, I believe we're getting to the end of this playthrough here. Not really, oh, 7.7 .7 hours, yeah, that's, uh, gonna take a while to repair. Not really sure this is gonna work. Can I repair it now? It's not. Mark three heavy, but that doesn't matter. Uh, I don't have to put it in docks. There's just a little bit of wrong with it. It's fine. And the Sevastopol seems to be damaged. Okay, what's damaged? Oh, it's putting... Oh, that's not really damage. It wants to put new missiles in. I guess it'll put these ones, but I don't want to put them in there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> well, they don't have anything that I would really want here, unfortunately. So, uh, there's little point in me outfitting stuff, because... Well, I should probably uh, buy these halon, uh, liquid halons. Can I just... No, can I just press shift? No. Just in case we lose them in combat, I can uh, I can still have them. There. Keep them for later. Maybe fuel tanks as well. One of these smaller ones. I could give a big one. Here. There. <laughs> Let's fight with the lightning now. Can I equip the Skylark with even more fuel? Wait, uh, where did it go? 
Or is it here now? It is. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on here now? That's uh, eight parts. How do I get rid of this now? <laughs> I don't know. That's that was weird. Well, I I sort of can. <laughs> um. Yeah. So six point five. 5.2, that really slows it down. What's the speed? 582? 465, yeah. It slows it down a fair bit. So we've got an Elend here. Uh, no, IRST, but no Elend. No, we do have Elend. Never mind. Okay. I think we're fine for now. We need some fuel as well, obviously. And I'm just gonna go all the way. Why only that much? Do we have that much fuel? Oh, we do, I guess. Wow. You actually get a lot of fuel from the... Uh, from the stuff you find. That's crazy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying this. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about it. We've got eight hours to spend here. And we are being hounded by two strike groups. One of them coming from over there. And I'm guessing we'll just have to fight it. Because, yeah. Anyway. See you next time. Bye-bye.